Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Paul Andrigo here. I am doing the first weekend of September's Soul Stories. And this is always a big treat for me because not only is September uh, sort of the, um, you know, the start to fall back to school film festival, but the Soul Stories that happen in September are some of the best that you'll ever hear. And if you are not signed up yet, if you have made the very bad, bad mistake of not being part of the real estate wealth report.com program, make sure it's the first thing you do today. If you do want to be featured on this lineup and be part of the absolute best of the best, you want to make sure that you're signed up with me now. You do not want your story being part of just the regular routine of real estate. It's absolutely a disaster when your properties are not featured on this platform, which is the number one real estate podcast show on Google, on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, on so many more. And the, re the reality of it is the only reason that 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 happens is because your stories are featured here, especially when it comes to real estate. There isn't anywhere better. There's no bigger platform than being featured on the top podcasts on the planet, uh, the, the top podcast channels on the planet with millions and millions of potential buyers listening. And I'll tell you the secret, and I learned this very early in podcasting, a lot of the people who listen to podcasts, and you might be one of them, are some of the most um, high net worth people in the world. And this is a lot of people right now are listening to podcasts. But a few years ago, when I started this in 2018, I discovered a secret back then that is still being um, just absolutely, you know, blows my mind every time it happens. The people that I, that reach out to me, whether it's on Twitter or on Instagram or email, uh, or through the website, if you're old school and you're just like going through the website, please do that. Realestatepodcastshow.com is the place to go. So let's jump right into, uh, what's been going on in terms of the, uh, souls for this week throughout Toronto and GTA. And this is where I really want to have, again, you know, as much of a good time as possible um, to, to, to just going to give you guys an idea of where the big sales are happening. And once again, they're not happening in Toronto per se. The top three sales of this week were all outside in the GTA area. One was in Vaughan, one was in, uh, one was in Vaughan and the other two were in Oakville. So for those of you who are listening, who have properties in these areas, uh, you want to make sure that you're listening very closely. And this includes, uh, you know, uh, some, some very big sales that happened in Richmond Hill, uh, in the Stouffville area, in Aurora, um, in um, the Baby Point community, um, uh, in the King Township area, in Mississauga. Um, again, these are where people with the biggest budgets are looking for properties. They're looking for properties outside of the city. It's for the last few years, I would say it's become the norm where for a lot of people who have, again, the biggest possible budgets, what they're looking for is not just to be in the city and to see, okay, well, what's my three or four or five million dollars if they've got that money to spend? What's that going to get me in Toronto? it usually does not compare to what you're going to get outside of the city. And that's why my tours have always been inclusive of the GTA. So not only am I helping people in Toronto, but I'm helping people in York region. I'm helping people in Durham. I'm helping people in Peel and Halton. And I love being able to make sure that you guys get the absolute best possible exposure for your properties when you're selling your homes, because again, you don't get to do this twice. This is, this is the reality of it, of the almost 500 solds, um, that happened just this week. And this is why I'm doing this this week because uh, doing this on a weekly basis, because you guys need to hear this stuff as it happens by the end of the month, there'll be probably, you know, a few thousand sales 
You might have lost track of what's going on. You might not have seen a property or have heard about a property that sold near you that has actually changed your home value. This is the reality of every single day for me when I'm doing real estate wealth reports for uh, clients with you know these incredible properties, helping them get on the market, helping them stand out in the crowd. This is why I want you to be able to do the same thing. So if you see any dots on this map, that are remotely close to you, the most important thing you can do today is to sign up for your own report. And you can actually do it because I've made it very simple. Uh, you can actually do it via this link, the, via the, the way you're seeing this podcast. Uh, you can actually uh, visit, uh, you know, just sign up right on, on, on the site, or you can go through realestatewealthreport.com uh, and that'll bring you to a similar sign up page. Uh, and you can start to get the information that matters to you. And this is why, um, it's done. Every report is done specifically by me and it's done specifically for your property. And what we talk about is what's going on in that community. We're not going to be just focusing um, on a, you know, a general area. I'm not just going to give you an entire uh, Oakville report. I'm not going to give you an entire uh, Whitby report. I'm going to give you a very specific report. Uh, and of course, this happens after we book your home inspection walkthrough. So without being able to see the property, of course, there's no way anybody, and this is, there's, there's no reliable version of this anywhere. You're not going to be able to get a report on your property unless you get the proper walkthrough to make sure that there is a comparison of what your property is like versus the others. And this is something that I, again, uh, I'll do, you know, in some, some weeks, I'll do dozens of these. Some of you might be selling in three months, some of you six months, uh, one that just signed up uh, recently, uh, they're not selling for another 12 months. That's the plan. But the, pl the problem with that is sometimes um, plans change. And if you are in the process of thinking, maybe I should move next year, maybe I should wait. Uh, I'm thinking about, you know, like retiring or downsizing. Sometimes those plans change. And what you want to do, and this is just from a professional who's done this for almost 25 years, uh, who sold their properties several times as well. What my recommendation always is, is be prepared one season ahead. And that doesn't mean you have to do anything any faster than you want, but at least be prepared, meaning have your, you know, inspection walkthrough done by me, have all the process, have all the marketing ready to go. And that way, at least if there's something going on in the months before you plan to move, you could actually be in some cases hitting the lottery. And I know this personally because I have moved in some cases two or three months after I should have. And as a result, I ended up losing a lot of money. And it's not something I'm proud of, but it's something I want to prevent you from doing. So if I can help you do that, if I can help you be in the top section of where you're moving when, when you're selling, if, if I can help you be on the top list, and if you're going to be on my weekly sold reports or on, you know, obviously part of my regular podcast where I talk about, you know, different from properties and how amazing they are. And of course, the one thing that happens is once my sign is in your lawn, it literally becomes like a magnet for those high net worth buyers because of the fact that this podcast does that. It's it's something beyond anything I can possibly explain to you here. But when, of course, it's something that we're doing and we're getting your podcast in place, uh, taking all of the right precautions, making sure that everything's being done to maximize your exposure, you'll see how so many of the people that I've helped, uh, some of which you'll see on these maps, you'll see some of those results be just absolutely mind blowing. And that's exactly what I would hope um, you would want as well as a homeowner. I don't know anybody who wants to be on the market and just get average results. If that's you, very likely, you know, you can just call whoever you saw a sign of near you and, and get that experience. But if you want something more, if you want to expand your exposure by, uh, you know, not 10 X, not hundred X, but by a thousand times, you want to be on the first choice, the number one result for real estate podcast show on Google, Apple podcast, Spotify, and so much more. So make sure that you sign up either through the link on this page 
or realestatewealthreport.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and enjoy the rest of your week.